Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. I got so excited today because I went, I had some work to do today on Easter Monday. <laughs> Sad. But I, I got it, I got it done and I looked, I was looking at my diary and I just, I just kind of freaked out a little bit. So I've got my hair booked in on Wednesday. So this week we're going to be transforming. Do you know? Do you know you're so hairy? You're so hairy. The dogs are casting like, <laughs> the dogs are casting like crazy at the moment. Their winter coat's coming away and it's borderline impossible to keep up with. It's been hard work. She just likes walking around in circles apparently. I've got my hair booked in on Wednesday and I have, oh, I'm so excited about this. I'm booked in with White Rabbit Healing. Susie who does Reiki, cupping, crystal healing, massage, all my favorite things. I'm going to see her in a few weeks time. And then the day after that, I've got my cranial sacral therapy, which I've not had in so long. I just can't believe it. I can't believe we can kind of do things again, or we're starting to be able to do things again. And it made me feel really happy. So happy. Oh, drug <laughs> Drug fucking fit. Two of these balls are called chuck it balls, right? They're the best dog toys. I actually need to buy them some new ones. But Drogba can fit two in his mouth and he always steals Junos and just walks about with it like that. Anyway, it's Monday. I just wanted to start this week's vlog today. I also, it was nice because we didn't have any meetings today, but they're all moved to tomorrow. So tomorrow will be quite a busy day, but it's great. Also, another thing, another thing, looking at the diary, I realized that in like three weeks time, quite a lot of stuff will have been done at the house. Uh, I didn't show you the house last week that much. But once we've got these things done, I want to film a wee bit more of a house tour just to show you guys about. I'm aware that I've not actually done that properly. But yeah, just really good. Feeling super hopeful. I also feel a little bit sassy. Feeling a little bit sassy these days. Just about the things that people think it's okay to say to other people online. Yeah, I see it happening all the time. And I, um, yeah, it's just bizarre. Just strange comments. I think that people, there's, I don't know, there's too much free time still happening at the moment and I'm over it. Yeah, I just don't know why people think it's all right to speak to other people like that. And then I actually, I wonder whether it's just because no one's getting told, shut up, or you can't say that to me. I don't know. I think it was after my road rage incident last week. It's just opened a door, opened a door of, do you know what? No, you can't actually fucking speak to me like that. Maybe that's it. Will I be sassy all week? Maybe. I mean... What will be, will be. Challenge yourself. See, the next time someone says something inappropriate or stupid to you, just tell them to shut up. Shut up. <laughs> like, <laughs> like what I found. Jack! 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 Come here! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that sunshine. I'm just waking up. I've got my coffee. I've had my grapefruit, I've taken the dogs out the back, they've had a breakfast. And I always watch YouTube in the morning. I've got into this habit, I'll get, I'll actually, weirdly, I'll have music playing in the background and I'll watch YouTube at the same time. And I have some incense burning and it's just like a really nice way to start the day. My new favorite incense is vanilla. You can get vanilla incense and it is so great. It's so relaxing. It's not quite as floral as other incenses. So if you're not a fan, it's, it's, it almost smells like the kind of candles that I really like to burn. But I woke up, I did all my skincare. I've got my SPF on and I was just watching YouTube. I'm watching Alana and she's talking about, I want day they announced this and I was like damn it oh, I totally should have waited to include these because I just I know they're gonna be a favorite but oh and honestly I was just sitting here with the biggest smile on my face really nice way to start the morning so sunny and nice I can't believe it today's a day of meetings I've got some product development to do this morning which is really exciting albeit slightly tricky without my like my space I'll show you the setup the current setup that I'm in because it's okay it's good it's actually it's great I was thinking about my first YouTube videos I filmed them in my bedroom cupboard 
in a flat that I was living in. I don't know if you guys will remember, but my setup, it changed a lot in like a year, uh, just because I was brand new to all of this. And I had this little stand that had all my Illamasqua eyeshadows. <laughs> it, was so, it was so good. I love those eyeshadows so much. So I was thinking about that and just thinking how great it is that I'm getting like a room for filming. I mean, I had a filming room in the last house as well, but it's just really great being able to do it all over again. Yeah, I just can't wait. So that's what I'm doing this morning and then I've got meetings later. So I think what I'm going to do is a little bit of a multitask. I think I'm going to go for a shower, wash my hair and put a hair mask in and leave that all day. I think that's what I would like to do. Look at this. <sighs> I'm not going to put myself through it today. Oh my god. <sighs> Better. Oh my god. I, I, I love a baggy jean. Great shower. And I just realised I was going to put a hair mask in. But I am getting my hair done tomorrow. I actually cannot wait. <laughs> oh, look at this as well. I've not let my jack... Can I put this down? Yeah. I've not let um, my jack do my undercut since he cut loads of my own hair off. This situation's hilarious. I just can't wait. I think tomorrow, I think we're gonna be doing my color and we might be talking about extensions because I've had short hair for quite a long time. It's actually, do you know, it's grown quite a lot, which, I mean, I don't wanna say it, but I think it's to do with not bleaching my hair. Like this is the darkest my hair's been like that. But I'm a brunette, right? I have brown hair. Uh, I've still got some like light parts around the front of my face, but my hair, this is the darkest my hair's been in a long time. Yeah, which I think hugely contributes to the health of my hair. I think I might just let it air dry today. I'm just gonna get it out my face. Um, and I want to do a really just natural makeup. And I thought we could do it together. I also, in the shower, maybe I should have morning showers more often. I'm more of a, like a nighttime bath person. But, oh my God, I just realized something. I'm more of a nighttime bath person, but when I'm in the shower, I get ideas because I'm not watching anything. Actually, I did watch Alana in the shower this morning. So I got an idea in the shower. I'm gonna film a transformation. This week is a big week for a lot of us. We can get our hair done again. So I thought what I could do is film a transformation of myself, hair, not nails. I mean, I could stick them on, I've got sticky nails, I could stick my nails on. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Hair, nails, fake tan. I looked at my naked body in the mirror and I think this is the palest I've ever been in my life. So, I thought we could do hair, tan, nails and a makeup tutorial, like a really glam, fun makeup tutorial because I know that I've been doing a lot of neutrals lately and I think that might be my video this week, which is fun, right? Okay, great. <laughs> I'm glad you agree. Okay, let's do a wee bit of makeup. Oh my God, I, I actually love this. How much have I used? Not that much. If you go to White Rabbit, actually you can buy them online as well. This is um, a multi-use ritual oil and this one's Abundance and it smells incredible. I just love using it before I do my makeup. It's really relaxing. This is the new Fenty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. During the move and up to the move and things like that, I, I've just not been trying new makeup. I've been preoccupied, but I've got a little fire in my belly and I'm really excited uh, to be testing stuff out again. Hi, drugs. Yeah, too dark. Next. Better. Oh, still very yellow, but I quite like a yellow foundation for me. I just don't know if I'm too pale for this at the moment. Hmm, I think we can get away with it if I put a wee bit of concealer on. Right, I've got one more and I think, I don't know if it's gonna be lighter or not. Shade 11. Oh yeah, this looks a bit more pink as well. I mean, this, oh, this will be really perfect for me when I've got fake tan on. I think, or when I get a little bit of my colour back, a little bit more of my tan back. Let's try number 11. Yep. So I am shade number 11 at the moment. Um, hmm, it's a bit pink. Look, do you see? Oh, what a shame. I don't feel like I can give this a fair review. I mean, it looks great, but uh, I just think the tones of the shades are quite, um, I don't think any of them are olive. I think that I've got pretty much pink or yellow. Oh, it looks a bit better when the sun's not shining on my face. So it's definitely a bit dark, but what a unique texture. So different to anything I've tried before, but I like it. Great for, see the kind of trends that are happening right now with makeup. It's, you know, it's very natural. It's your skin, but better. This is a really nice finish. 
I'm not worried about the shades because I'm gonna make it work for today and then, I mean, the sun's starting to come out so hopefully I'll get my, a wee bit of a tan soon. I think my dark hair as well is making me look really quite pale just now. I've got nothing against fair skin. The fair skin's beautiful, but on myself, I just definitely prefer a wee bit of a tan. I'm just gonna use my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. And if you're wanting laminated brows, just go in like back and forth. And as you do the other brow, the other one will dry and you get that stickiness that all these um, like brow glues on the market do. Just cause I know quite a lot of you guys will have that. You can get the same effect. Oh, that foundation's really, really nice. Ease drop, blurring skin tint. And I like just going over my brows with a spoolie and it just gets them sitting nice. I don't do them too sticky up. I just think like a natural full looking brow is really nice. And then I got a new gimme brow in the shade five, which is a bit darker because with my dark hair, I really like a dark brow, but at the same time, see when I have my transformation, I think I might be a bit blonder. Um, I love dark eyebrows with blonde hair. I remember so, so vividly being on holiday with my mum. We went to Spain and I remember we were at the pool and I saw, I was maybe like 11 or 12 at this point. And I remember seeing this girl at the pool and she, she must have been like 16 or something. And she had bleach blonde hair and really dark eyebrows and this beautiful tan. And I was just like, oh my God, she's in my dream. I'm just gonna use my Radiant Creamy Concealer to add a bit of brightness. Uh, this is the shade Ginger. Oh my God, I'm, I think I'm quite obsessed with that foundation. It's so fun to play with new makeup again. I've really, really missed it. I just feel like, I don't know, we just had a little bit of a moment when we moved, didn't we? Don't know if I was here or there. Uh, we've got a Sainsbury shop coming tonight and I'm over not cooking. I feel like we've had so many other things to do that it's not been a priority. We never got good takeaways where we lived before and now we can get amazing takeaways from actually like quite a lot of our favourite restaurants. We've just been like milking it and having fun with it but I've had enough now. I just really want trays upon trays uh vegetables. Let's use a eye wand. I want to show you this in action. I really like that skin, super fresh. Actually, let's just do blush while we're here. I'm going to use Piazza by Vive. Sunset blush and Piazza and we're going to start nice and high up. I'm going to really warm this skin up. Oh yeah. This has got such a warmth to it that it almost works like a kind of bronzer. It's, it's definitely got more of a blush tone to it, but in terms of warming your face up, isn't that nice? Oh, and I'm going to use a wee bit of, I was going to do hazelnut. Yeah, let's use hazelnut and just sketch all over the lid when quite high up. So this is going to be like natural base makeup and just a soft smoky eye. And I'm, I think I'm just going to use literally this. I love hazelnut so much because all eye colours look amazing with it because it's got this unique pinky tone to it. Just literally scribble that on. And I like to use a big fluffy brush, but in Alana's video, I'll link it below because she's just honestly such a joy to watch. She makes me feel so like motivated. I don't know, she just makes me feel really motivated. Like I want to do loads. <laughs> and she's just such a like a joy to watch. But in Alana's video, she used a, like a shader brush, like quite a firm, like let's see if I've got one. This is the Fenty 200. It's just like a kind of flat eyeshadow brush and she used that to blend her eye wand. And I was like, I've never done that before. I always use like a big fluffy brush, but she was saying that you can pat the product in and then blend it. So I just thought that was really cool. I'm just going in with a wee second layer on my lid and I think I'm just gonna sketch this underneath. I like it a lot. Let's do some mascara. I'm just adding a little bit more brow gel to the front because my eyebrows are looking a wee bit fair. Naturally, my eyebrows are a lot lighter than my hair colour. It's so strange. I cannot wait to like get them done, like tinted or something. I don't know. I've never really had anything done to my eyebrows before, but a wee bit extra depth and just building that up is nice. And I'm just going to fill in my freckle. I've been using this Freck Noir quite a lot recently and I really like it. I'm just going to pat that on. Do you want to see the most hilarious thing ever? This is my brat lip liner. I've used it so much just because for looks like, see like what I'm doing today, this kind of makeup, it is just perfect for adding that little bit of definition. That foundation's definitely too dark, but it's okay. 
And then I just pop her a little bit of lip balm on. I've been using this one a lot. It's the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in the shade Clean Cut. You can see just a little bit of that in the center. It doesn't really look like I'm wearing much on my lips at all, uh, which I really like. I'm gonna pop a wee bit of highlight on, just cause glowy skins. Glowy skins in. Oh, this is a bit of an illusion. It's great if you're feeling like me and your eyebrows are sitting a little bit low and you want to give that lift. You just grab your pomade. I've got a brand new cabrow, very exciting. And I'm gonna get the, the brush on top of the cabrow. And this is a really light shade, so it's I like it because you can't really go wrong. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add height to my arch. Immediately that looks better, doesn't it? You can use anything for this. You can use your pencil or even a bit of eyeshadow. Like, do you see how much more lift that's given me? And it just makes the whole look that little bit more polished. Uh, another trick that I used to love, that I still do, is getting a little bit of product, a little bit of brow product, and just going under here and dropping this front part. And by dropping the front of the brow, that in turn makes the arch look higher. Using the lighter shade in the pomade and then a darker brow gel, it works really well. It kind of adds the depth where you want it rather than big blocky brows like that. Like if I go into the window. So there's the makeup. I've just brushed my hair. I wonder if I go in the super, oh God, that I literally cannot see. Is that going to show you? But there's my skin. Really nice. There we go. So I think that's such a nice wearable natural makeup but you've still got a little bit of something going on with the smoky eyes if you didn't want to go so smoky you can just use a lighter shade and the eye ones for example if you're super fair then sand would give you a really nice like subtle smoky eye uh camel's great i mean i think that there's definitely space for for more shades in the future just using a wee touch of powder to lock everything in because i've got really oily eyes i just go over my eyes with a bit of the powder as well and that's like a really nice makeup to it hope you loved it hello you're propped up really strange uh where's my cleanser Today is finished. It is 10 past 10. Uh, today was one of those days. Great day though, and it's time to take my makeup off. I'm really impressed. Oh, wow. I'm really impressed at the, oh, my earrings as well. What am I like? Uh, I'm really impressed by the Fenty Eaves, Ease Drop. I really like it. It's so different to anything I've tried. I'm gonna film a video using it. Uh, I'm just taking my makeup off, like I want, with oil, it just melts away. It's so great, it won't move until you do that. Any cleanser will work, but I really like a oily cleanser first. And I just, oh, there's no better feeling in the world. So I'm up early tomorrow, my appointment at Baxter South, which is Jack Baxter's salon, who's my hairdresser, who I miss so much. But I'm seeing him tomorrow, so it's fine. That's tomorrow at Eight. I need to be there. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think we're good. I think I'm just gonna go blonder, like fresh highlights, keep the length, like nothing, nothing crazy, but just like a real freshen up. I mean, I've not had my hair done in a really long time, so it will just be nice to get some highlights. Just using my face halo. This is the cleanser I'm using. It is the Pharmacy Green Clean. Found one when I remove and I really bloody like it. My idea for my video this week is my transformation, but it means I need to transform myself and I just don't know how I'm gonna do it. I think I'll get up early, go and get my hair done. Shouldn't be too long. Come home, tuck some tan on I think. I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. Oh, it's so nice to take my makeup off. But I'm really excited because I just think getting your hair done makes you feel so put together. Like it's such a nice treat and I just, I so missed it. Oh, it's gonna be fab. Today was a day for <laughs> looking after my plants. They've been neglected. So we've moved some about. Some have unfortunately passed away. But what I've got down here is a little ivy. Then I've got my big ivy here, which is doing okay. Um, Don't love it being right up against the window, but I don't actually have anywhere to hang it at the moment. This little guy is not doing so good, but we're gonna give him a bit of a chance. I've got another ivy here, which is doing really good. It's super long, super long. The whole, the whole reason that I'm sharing this is because I bought a new plant. This is my new rubber plant. I got this from a online shop called Portology. I saw it 
on the Anna Edits Instagram and hers was so healthy. She said it's a really easy plant to keep. And look, it came. It's already got two new leaves. So hopefully I managed to keep this one alive. And then in here, this is kind of where I put all the plants to start with. And then I really quickly realized that some were not happy. So this big kind of palm, this big grass is really happy. Um, you can see that I've been doing some pruning. I've got a little plant. I don't know what any of their names are. I'll say that, but he's new and he's pretty happy. There's a new leaf there. Same with this guy. Wow. <gasps> This one's super happy. Look at these new leaves. This guy got a serious pruning today. I do not know if he's gonna be all right, but I gave him a water, made sure all the pots, none of the plants are overwatered, but some of them were too dry. In here is a perfect climate because it gets really, really hot in here. So this kind of little palm guy is really happy as well. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know their names. I'm just calling them wee guys. Just here, these three are doing really good in here. So they really like the, the sun. Uh, this is, I know this is mother-in-law's tongue. This is just something from I uh, Sainsbury's. I bought this plant from Sainsbury's actually. This little spiky one's from Ikea and it's doing really good as well. This was in our bathroom at the old house and it did not grow and as soon as we moved it in here it seems to really like the all the sun this is my spider plant my spider plants my mum and dad gave me we've got another one here again seems to be doing really good so if the plants seem to be doing well in in here i just leave them cactuses oh my goodness all the cactuses really enjoy the heat and all the sunshine obviously <laughs> i don't really know what this plant is he kind of freaks me out like the roots really freak me out but he's got really big so must be happy i cannot believe i've never had a cactus flower before oh look this has got the name on it what is it mum mamalaria Giselli. <laughs> there we go so this flower is in summer lovely little pink flowers uh this is empty <laughs> but i'll repot something in here this is a strange one from ikea but again like it's doing fine so I'm just gonna leave it and then this big palm is a classic ikea at one point in the old house he was dying then we moved him around and he came back to life leaving him here for now and then i've got four more cactuses over here again like i said all the cactuses just love it so happy for them to stay and look we've got another wee flower there and then this is another kind of palm grass type which again love it love it these are my <laughs> these are my fake plants i actually don't think i'll buy any more fake plants i really love having real plants to look after they're great if you cannot grow plants and if you're scared of them dying and you've wasted loads of money then definitely the only fake plant i still really love is my big fake banana tree uh that's from silver birch and you might recognize that it used to be in a load of my photos at the old house but i think that he's just quite cool in here and then over here we've got a couple of other plants this is a calathea really cool at night it closes up and then during the day it opens up wasn't looking too happy so i've moved them to a bright place that's a bit more shaded actually he's looking like he's working you can see those leaves are starting to close up and then this little tree i actually think is from ikea as well doing okay not thriving oh well we've got new wee leaves my monstera which was in my makeup room doing really good where is it oh look we've got can you see that See here, we've got two new leaves here, so he survived. As soon as my makeup room is sorted upstairs, I'm gonna put him back because that's just where he's meant to be. But I love this plant so, so much. Oh, Yeah, so that's what I've done today. Uh, well, it's Friday today. I managed to get loads done, which was great. Felt really good, actually. I just needed a day on my laptop. And I think we're gonna chill. You can see I've got all my candles on, feels, really nice in here uh, and after I was finished all my work I took the time to look after my plants and move them around something that I've learned as a plant owner that I, that cares about their plants the plant decides where it wants to live you cannot choose where to put the plant sometimes it works out sometimes exactly where you want to put that plant is where it thrives and then sometimes you're gonna have to move it to keep it alive funny week <laughs> And actually, I've just had a bit of a, like a couple of days just so loving it here. I just love this house so much. And I feel like, do you know what I've done? I've started mood boarding each room. So if I see something that I like, I'll, I'll 
take the link and I'll keep the link and I'll put it, a picture of that object in a mood board for the room that it's meant to go in. It's a bit, it's, it's a fun way to spend time. It's kind of like Pinterest, but I'm actually making like little mini documents. So um, I did it with the bathroom, which I actually, I don't know what we're gonna do with the bathroom, but I've also done it with the office downstairs. I'm super excited because I've got some things organized. Um, I bought some stuff and I also am working with a company that I really love. Uh, so you'll see that soon enough. On the 26th of April, loads of stuff can start happening. Uh, Non-essential shops are open, pubs are open, restaurants will be open. Non-essential work can get, take place in houses, so tradesmen and things like that we can actually have in. All we've had so far is essential electrics, um, so it means that uh, we're basically going to be super busy when things open back up. But it's nice, it's just so, it's such a nice feeling and it just feels really hopeful and like we had sunshine, we had sunshine today uh, which made it great and it's just been a great week, like I cannot tell you the difference I feel having my hair done. Oh, I didn't realise it was, I was going to say getting to me, that's not the right phrase. I didn't realise how much I missed it. I thought, oh, I'm fine, I'll just get on with it. But literally just feels so nice having fresh hair. And I know that I'll be the same when I get my nails done. And uh, yeah, just such exciting times afoot for us all. It even looks like this summer, if we have a nice summer, or I mean, regardless if we have a nice summer or not. But this summer, I think that me and Jack might get to go somewhere in Scotland for a wee break. I think hospitality is going to open up again. No idea about foreign travel. I talk about it a lot and I share loads of pictures of like traveling overseas and it's something that I miss a lot. I really miss traveling, but I'm actually so happy, like I'm, I'm so happy to be in this house that I'm fine. I mean, I'd like a wee summer holiday. Everyone would love a wee summer holiday, wouldn't they? It's not on the top of my list. Like I cannot wait to have my friends over to this house. I think we're going to be able to meet up in gardens really soon so we can have friends over in the garden and then maybe even indoors. What a relief. I'm sitting at the window in the living room and it's just one of my favourite views in the whole house. My computer's right there and then we've got a window into the conservatory. We can't get into the conservatory from here but we do have a window into it so it looks like dead nice. And then we've just got loads of trees in a garden that is another, <laughs> it's another job. It's actually great, it's great for the dogs but I'd love to put um, loads of effort into the garden. I just, I, lo I love a beautiful garden and I love spending time outside so that would just be perfect. So apart from that, I think that's all I've got to catch up on. I'll talk to you guys later. No, no, no. I feel like my eyebrows are sitting so low. Maybe I'll take that tail off again. Oh God, dare I? I hope this is worth it. Can you see anything?